Hi everyone! I'm putting another disclaimer out there that this video will not be making fun of anybody. I'm just simply reading fan fiction written by very small children. Hmm, what Jacob Sartorius fan fiction should I read today? So many options! S so many options, like I'm not- I'm not joking, like there are so many options like options found one bullied by the only jacob sartorius i would read the description but it's like five pages long so let's get right into reading it i'm so excited so there are different point of views i'm just going to change the screen color with my Fun editing. What did I just do that for? So hopefully that'll make you understand it a little bit more. Also, I'm not going to be trying to act this out well. Lexi, let's go, my mother said. Ugh, I hate Mondays, and to make matters worse, I have to go to school. I did not want to get up. My mom had picked my outfit and set at the very end of my bed. I wore a burgundy shirt with black pants in a baggy sweater with some black boots and two silver bracklets. Good morning, my mom said waiting for me to reply. She asked me good morning, but ounce I say something, not even getting the rest of my words out of my mouth, she has to say something about boys. So, you just ignore me this morning? My mom said a little upset. Mom, look, I, I said before she cut me off. So, you ready for the cute boys and all? No, Mom. You do this to me every year. Ugh. I cannot stand her. I picked up my black boot and pink... my pink penny board and headed out the door. May I ask what that is? Ounce I got outside, I felt like someone was following me. Then it felt like breathing on my neck. Honey, you better run. I stoked and got off my penny board and I looked behind me and it was this boy. To be honest, he was probably hired by your mom who wants you to have friends. Who are you and what do you want? I said to him. Well, Miss Grumpy Max, how are you this morning? He said. I never got your name. Um, Alexis. Alexis Roosevelt, I told him. Jacob Sartorius, he told me. Hi, he added on. I looked in his eyes and it glowed. I felt like I loved him. Loki think a bunch of brain cells just died, but once again, that's none of my business, so let's just keep reading. There was this girl and she looked amazing. Wait, oh no, I can't. If the boys find out about this, I'm so dead. I can't have feelings for her or even talk to her. I have to do this decision. Well, thanks for the penny board, I snatched her penny board away from her. Hmm, your only choice is to bully her. What kind of person are you? Hey, I never said you could have that, you idiot, she yelled at me. I don't know who you're talking to. I get what I want, I told her while slapping her across the face. I decided that I should just leave her there and not talk to her. It hurt me more than it hurt her. False! That's just wrong on so many levels to even slap anybody. I rode her penny board to the bus. She caught the bus and sat at the very back. She sat across from me. I'm going to throw my phone? Um, there are some choice words that ten-year-olds should not be saying in here, but let's just say that he called her an unpleasant woman name. She started to cry. When we got to the next stop, my girlfriend was there. Every day she sits with me, she is the one that really is a unpleasant woman name. I'm starting to get really very very much very really really very much angry at the Jacob in this book and I would be happily, I would, I would happily, uh, I'm finding a hard time speaking because this is killing my brain cells at the speed of fast, but what I'm trying to say is that I would happily push people in this fan fiction into a volcano, but that's another story, that's for another time, let's keep reading. Hey baby, she said. What? I said with an attitude. Let's make out, she asked. No, I don't want to, I told her. Then she took off, uh, this is, she, um, mm, okay, uh, let's just, okay, we're skipping to Alexis's point of view, this isn't, this isn't appropriate for, for anybody, really. Man, 
whoever Jacob's girlfriend loves to be the center of attention. I looked at Jacob and he looked at me, and it felt like he was sorry and mad at the same time. We got off the bus and Jacob met up with his friends and my brother Ashton. I was afraid that Ashton would turn on me. I got to first period and I saw Jacob in there. Unfriendly choice of words, I yelled in a whisper voice. Is that an oxymoron? Can you yell in a whisper voice? Oh well. The only seat left was the one in front of Jacob. I was heck of mad. Well hello class, we are going to do an all about me project. This will be by yourself. I will have, hmm, let me see who can pass out the papers. Hopefully she won't pick me. Alexis, how about you give it a try? Of course she's gonna pick you. If you say, hmm, I hope she doesn't pick me, that's obviously foreshadowing that she's gonna pick you. I'm not really surprised, so. So I had to do it. I got up and went to the teacher's desk and got the papers. When I was passing out the papers and I got to Jacob's desk, he snatched it out of my hand. Ounce I was done. I got one for myself and left the remainings on the teacher's desk. I overheard Jacob saying, She's probably going to say she's a unfriendly woman word, and her mom was a another unfriendly woman word. He whispered like a bull. I could not take it anymore. I got up and said something I regretted. What even is this? Okay, Jacob, what you need to do is shut your big mouth and have some respect, have some got respect for a girl. I'm sick and tired of saying stuff about me. If you're going to say a got, a, wait, no, a got thing about me, then say it to my face, I yelled at him. Finally, I got that out of my system. Alexis, please exit this room and make your way to the principal's office. You better get comfortable because you're going to be there for the rest of the day. Probably because you're like two years old and you're saying stuff that's not really appropriate, but okay. Miss whoever you are, don't have to tell me twice. I was heading there myself anyways. Oh. Mmm, this pains me. Man, I'm in big trouble. Probably not from my mom, but definitely from Jacob. No, I think your mom's gonna be pretty mad. What the heck, Lexi? What did you do now? Mom, long story. It happened, I regret it, and I will probably be dead tomorrow, so do me a favor and I won't bring it up. I told her. We got home, and I got in the shower and went to bed. Uh, that was only chapter one. I think we're gonna stop there. I lost approximately two million brain cells during this reading of this fan fiction. So uh, if you want to see me lose more brain cells and read chapter two or three or four, please comment down below. I don't know what to do anymore, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to check out my Twitter in the description below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye! <laughs>